So this is the new massing environment for conceptual design in Revit Architecture 2010. Now immediately you'll notice the same ribbon based UI that you just saw in AutoCAD Architecture. Now let's create a basic shape by extruding a profile along a path. Pretty simple, but the beauty of the new modeling tools in this release is that we're not limited to this initial geometry, even as we dive deeper in form exploration. In this release, Revit Architecture provides several tools that will help us immediately manipulate a form like this, pushing and pulling it, if you will, in areas of our choosing, going from a simple massing to a more complex form in just a few clicks. Now, if I had to describe this form making ability, I'd say it's almost analogous to working with clay, but in a digital environment made especially for architects. Now as you can see with the new interface and controls, it's really easy to work in 3D space and by leveraging the view cube, I can continue to develop my form in elevation or plan without ever leaving my 3D design environment. Now I'm going to make a few more tweaks to my model here by taking advantage of the x-ray tool. With it I can see the underlying profiles that make up the form and I can manipulate them accordingly. Like so. So now that I have a form that I like, let's talk about how Revit Architecture can give us an even greater understanding of this design. This release comes with additional tools that will actually divide and pattern surfaces of the model in an effort to give us a better understanding of its scale. This pattern tool can be used at a very schematic level to illustrate curtain or structural systems, but this tool can be very precise as well giving us the ability to apply real-world building components to them such as a curtain panel. So with the new intelligent component families I can easily design a curtain panel that will automatically map to my pattern surface no matter how complex the surface is. No scripting is required at all. So in essence, we've taken what was once a highly specialized and advanced modeling technique and made it easily accessible to all Revit users. And now that my form has real world geometry mapped to it, I can further understand and analyze my building through quantity and material schedules. Now what's very important to note here is that besides the free form manipulation and patterning techniques, this release also allows you to be very specific as you create your conceptual designs through the addition of formulas. Now again, I'm just going to go ahead and start from scratch here and I will make a simple extrusion and begin to tweak my form very freely with the direct manipulation tools. However, let's say that at this stage of the design, I want to start adding real design intent to the overall building form. For example, there may be restrictions to the building site or a space program that will guide me to add dimensional constraints to the form. So by simply locking in the dimensions that automatically appear as I model in 3D, dimensional constraints can be added very easily. Now let's take this parametric control one step further. With just a few clicks, automatic dimensions can be converted to name parameters that can be used to drive the design at a very high level of accuracy and control. Now, parameters can even be linked to formulas that can further drive the overall shape of the form. Now, as I go ahead and input my formula here, watch how both parameters and formulas now ensure that the form stays within the confines of my design intent. Now, as you have seen here, these tools give you the ability to make some truly amazing building forms, but let's check out how they work in the context of an actual project. So here is a sample site complete with a few iterations of a tower form that was created using the new form making tools. Now for presentation purposes, Revit architecture can be used to see the design's impact on the city skyline by going to a waterfront view. But I really need to emphasize that this information goes beyond just making pretty pictures. Even at this early stage, very valuable information can be extracted from the model such as floor areas and volumes and even exterior surface areas as defined by the levels of the project. What's even more exciting is that as several design options of the form is being explored, all of this valuable information is updated automatically. It's just a matter of swapping out one form for another.